Hey guys, real quick before we get into today's video, I want to thank our video sponsor, which is Sonoran Desert Institute. SDI is an online school offering programs and courses specific to the firearm industry. If you want to learn about subjects like gunsmithing, shooting, sports management, firearm repair, and many others for the sake of just having the knowledge or making a career out of it, SDI is certainly something you guys should take a look at. They even have several different funding options available as well if that's something you guys are interested in. But I'll be sure to put a link in the description to Sonoran Desert Institute so you guys feel free to check them out and kind of get started in your journey that way. But again, kind of exciting to think you guys can make a career out of the subject. But anyway, without any further ado, let's get on to today's video. This is the classic Nokia phone. The one you guys have seen the memes over it, supposedly the toughest thing ever conceived on all of earth probably the universe um you drop it it creates craters uh the likes uh, you guys have probably seen the memes pretty tough devices um i think there's been a couple of videos of people trying to shoot them one of them was totally fake in itself but i bought 10 of them i want to see if i put them all in a line um realistically what they can stop actually we'll shoot it with uh anywhere from 22 and just kind of move up on a pretty steep ramp and uh well no need to continue on with that intro. We're just going to probably tape them up here, 10 phones, go up in calibers, see what happens. Before that though, I kind of want to get a little bit of a baseline. I have my old iPhone 6 here. Um, we have got a Samsung Galaxy S, an older one as well, and then this Verizon, Motorola, Google, whatever it is. So some three smartphones, we'll put the iPhone up first, see how these act before you guys get too pissy in the comment section saying, oh, you guys could have sold these. If this video gets monetized, it should make more than these phones are worth. So thanks for being my accountant, but I think I'm uh, well taken care of. Let's go ahead and shoot these and uh, see what happens. Starting with the nine millimeter and nine millimeter only for the smartphones out of a classic example of a Beretta, full metal jacket, nine mil. All right, here we go. All right, iPhone led the way, pretty clean hole, actually a couple cracks up here. Let's, uh, I wonder if I got Apple Care on this iPhone six. Let's see if that's in one piece other than the hole. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh yeah, that's clean. That will make for a really nice display actually. I should just take a call out and about like this and uh, people will wonder what, I'm, what kind of business I'm in. And then next was that Google phone, whatever that is, Motorola. And then the Samsung literally just blew up. I got the battery here, all kinds of ways. So it definitely would have just continued as we see there. Three smartphones, no match for a nine millimeter. Is that a baseline? Eh, kinda. And so it begins, we have got numbered one through 10, just in case you start flying around, I know which one was first, uh, of the Nokias. Taped up, ready to go. They should stand up on their own. First one will be a 22 long rifle, Smith & Wesson Performance uh, Center, 22 Victory. We just got some hollow points in here, little Viper from Vortex on top. Cool little thing. All right, putting it right in the center. All right, looks like it had carry through. I think that's part of the bullet there. Second phone doesn't look as clean, but it did stop it. All right, so doesn't even look like it really tried to go so much through the back. It just kind of mangled up this one pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and retape that, keep our order. Looks like we could keep all our phones. I'll just try to aim at a different spot. All right, nine mil. Oh no, that's a mess. Let's see if you can uh, make that make any sense at all. All right, got it for the most part back in a line. Uh, I thought they would stay together a little bit better, but all right, number one is actually pretty well intact because it was pretty clean in and out. Uh, number two, right here, in and out, pretty good. This is obviously where you can see where the 22 stopped hard. Uh, didn't really do much to the back. So this one kept on going. We got number three, nine millimeter in and out. Number four, in and out, barely struggling to get through. Made a pretty good impact on number five and doesn't really look like it went out. Number six here, um, not in perfect condition, but uh, yeah, I would say it looked like it had stopped on number five, that's nine mil. So that's actually more than I thought it would. Um, we're gonna have to start ramping up calibers pretty soon here actually. But uh, yeah, we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all perfectly intact. In fact, here's number 10, literally unscathed. So it didn't make it all the way through. Let's just go ahead and uh, ramp it up. I was gonna do 45 ACP and kind of like do the slow workup I think this shows I probably have to do a pretty steep ramp up. So let's just uh, go ahead and do that. All right, so that didn't take too long. We're already on the rifles. We're gonna be at 5.56 five, right now out of this. I'll explain what this is in just a second. Real quick, thanks to our uh, sponsor ETS, our Elite Tactical System, for sponsoring this video. They make loading their mags way easier. That's for pistols and rifles, as well as they make their own magazines as well. Anyway, 
Uh, these are 62 grain full metal jackets. Yes. Um, so this air 15 technically because the lower I won't go too in depth because I will do a video on this probably in the next two videos or so uh, but it's a brown L's BRN upper uh, we got the USO US optics one to eight on top yeah it's a pretty sweet rig uh, let's see if uh, these phones can take one more shot hopefully so we can keep working up but yeah five five six all right here we go all right that was somewhat clean all right so we've got our first three this is one two three uh that was low and you can see just literally did not change course at all kept on going we have got punched out the numbers there just imagining how uh, that's just not as clean that's probably four five six uh seven i think right here uh right there number eight yeah there we go number eight you can see started kind of waking up just because it's deforming it a lot more it's not going as fast number nine in fact there you go Little impact on nine did not even come close to going through. 10 is by far the cleanest phone, obviously. But yeah, so 556 five, made it through. A good eight stopped on the ninth. All right, the more you know. I think we could do another one. This is the Romanian PSL and 762 by 54R. You guys see what it's chambered in? It is a nasty, nasty round. Uh, it's pretty darn good at going through things, uh, as it turns out. So. 10 Nokia's with nine of them pretty banged up. Let's see what happens. All right, it's ready to rock and roll, guys. Oh boy. Here we go. Exactly what I thought. It's everywhere. All right, let's just see if we can find number 10, I guess. All right, just picked up all the phones and that's definitely the end of, uh, of these Nokia's. So I'm glad we ended it with the 762x54R. Romanian PSL, sweet rifle. I don't show as often as I uh, as I probably should. Okay, a lot of them lost their numbers, but we still have number one here uh, because these this is where the bullets were going their fastest. So it's not gonna mangle it too much, but after a while, you see what happens. Uh, 762 by 54 R. I think that was that guy right there, kind of on the lower end, and that stayed true all the way to here's number two, whatever, whatever. Where is number ten? You can see it didn't really change path. Um, stayed lower in the whole time so yeah that's a mean bullet number 10 so there's not one phone in here that's uh operable anymore so all right nokia's not as tough as i thought they were uh i funny memes led me wrong in my childhood but you know what live and learn i uh, hope you guys learned something uh i know i had some fun uh, i brought more guns to to mess with but it didn't take that much so stick out for uh, future videos and I'll probably uh, put those guns to work. But that does it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thanks to ETS, Elite Tactical Systems, for sponsoring this video. I'll catch you guys very soon on the next one. Take care.